Indago Digital is a digital marketing agency that specialises in acquisition campaigns and the channels that drive low-cost conversions. SEO and SEM are the heart of what they do, as well as being experts in the techniques and technologies required to increase the effectiveness. Here to tell me more about it, and probably better than I can, is their managing director, Gary Nissim. Gary, welcome to Business Success. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. So, Indago Digital, um, we've, we've got you on the show. I'd yeah. love to hear about your business, who you are and what you do. Okay. Um, so, Indago Digital is, is obviously a uh, digital agency. We specialise in what I call acquisition media. Um, so it's always trying to drive some kind of conversion or sale or lead. Um, I set up the business uh, back in uh, mid-2014 um, for the sole reason I wanted to run a, a digital agency the way I felt a, a digital agency should be run. Um, I, I didn't want to cloud digital marketing with, with more traditional methods of marketing. Um, and I wanted to focus on the, the happiness and success of, of both my clients and staff. And, and that's why we set the business up. Fantastic. I mean, on, on to your clients. You, you've got some great ones there. Yeah. And um, I wanted to talk a little bit about some of those clients that you've gained over the time. Yeah. It's, it's two and a half years in. And how, how did you sort of first go out and kind of pitch your idea to the clients that you've got today? Oh, I mean, to be honest with you, the uh, I don't think you you can pitch an idea. I think when you're when you're pitching a new client, especially an enterprise client, th there's no point in, in pitching the agency because it's very difficult to differentiate yourself. Mm -hmm. um, so what we ended up doing, or what we do do, is, is we pitch the client. Um, you know, we talk about. Um, the uniqueness of their business, the, 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 the troubles they face, potential solutions that we can bring to the table, any insight that we can bring into the, the current marketing and, and any improvements we can make. Basically, we, we go in there and we, we wow them. Um, you know, we don't try and talk about how good we are because that, that's just words. We go in there with data and facts. I mean, the whole industry is based around data, so we need to use that to our best advantage to, to get new enterprise clients on board. That's fantastic. Is it, is it a range of industries that, that you work with? And sort of who are the kinds of people that use Indigo Digital, for example? Okay, so range of industries, I'd say probably our strongest suit would be uh, tourism and leisure. Okay. Uh, we've also pretty big in, in uh, finance and insurance. Um, and then we've got some other kind of uh, softer verticals that we're strong in. The kind of client who would use us, uh, as, as a business, there'll be businesses where um, digital is, is, a, is a major care to them, mm -hmm. uh, and it's a major investment as well. Mm. It's not part of the mix, it's a foundation of their marketing mix. And the people we work with share our, our passion for digital. So I think if, if, if digital is kind of a bit of a bolt onto your marketing, then we're probably not the right agency for you. Yeah, well, I mean, everything is, is digital now. At, at RFI Group, we're going through this huge digital transformation. Yep. I know, a great agency you should use. Well, oh, there you go, <laughs> which is quite, um, it's quite an interesting space. And as you said, digital is not a bolt on it. It's so imperative 100%. to so many different businesses today. So, so you're there to help really drive a, a digital strategy and, and how they yeah. can best work in that space? Yeah. Uh, definitely a strategy, but our focus really is on, on acquisition, and you said it in the intro. Now, we're not lucky to get, well, we do get some branding dollars, but every one of my clients needs a, a return on ad spend, a return on investment, an ARPU, whatever their terminology is. They're looking to get something out. It's not about branding, it's about return. And I suppose both the, the, the best point about digital and the worst point, it, it's super measurable. Mm. Um, so if you're doing a great yeah. job, you can see it and you invest more. And if it's not working, um, you know, we get chastised and, and we have to pull back on spend. Yeah, but, the, but that kind of transparency is quite, quite a benefit, I guess, for your clients as far as sort of how, how what you're doing for them is really working. And, and I guess you can track some really impressive metrics, I would 100%. say. 100%. Yep. It's not marketing to my mind. We're, we're a function of a sales team. Mm. You know, that's what we're doing. I mean, nine times out of ten, uh, we're driving directly through to a sale, you know, a transaction. Uh, an e-commerce sale or buying a holiday or whatever the case might be mm. and the rest of the time we're driving some form of lead through a, a capture form or a phone number um, so 100% but as I said I don't, I don't see it as marketing anymore what we do to my mind is, is, is sales we're just an additional salesperson to, to get it out there um, yeah. Another, another thing I did want to talk about was your team. Yep. So I yep. understand you've got a pretty extensive team here made up of different kinds of people. Do you want to tell me a little bit about the team and, and I guess how, how you manage them and how you've, how you've managed them over the two and a half years? I suppose you've grown yep. quite a lot in that time. We're, uh, it's a very diverse mix of people, uh, I suggest. And it's that diversity, really, that's created the business that we've got, has created our success, has created the culture mm -hmm. uh, and, and the rounded product that we have. Um, as to how I manage them, um, I'd say I, I manage in a, in a very soft and, and efficient manner. I'm very approachable. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say I'm very generous, yeah. but th there's probably also a massive flip side. Um, I need great results for my clients. My clients demand it. They, 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 they need it. They deserve it. Um, so if we're, or if one of my employees isn't driving those types of results, 
uh, then I'd say I'm probably a relatively aggressive boss because, you know, that's yeah. what my business is based around is it's, results. Yeah, it's your business. It's yeah, your li 100%. livelihood. That team of 17, have you got quite a few sort of technology people in there who really get down to the nitty-gritty of what you do? Um, I'd say if I had to split it out, I'd probably split it into three sub facets. I'd say I've got a technologist, as you pointed out. Um, I've then got creatives. Um, you know, we do a lot of content production, etc., etc. So obviously there's a mass difference between a technologist and a creative and, and what makes them tick. Um, and then the third uh, type of person I have is, is what I would term a data scientist, someone who's very analytical. So it's quite interesting because you have this, this massive mix of, of skills and, 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 you know, requirements. But what's quite interesting is I think we've managed to bring them together uh, by a number of common interests. And the first one, obviously, is a, a passion for digital marketing. We've all got that. Um, and I'd say the others are fried chicken. There's a massive fascination with fried chicken. Fried chicken Fridays is, is massive at my office for some right. bizarre reason. Um, and and, and uh, music would be another for, yep. another uh, key interest that goes across all, the All the well. things that you're, that you're sort of mentioning here, Gary, really do strike me as the culture of the business. So culture is really important to you. We touched on a little bit before, but obviously those kinds of things, if you're, you've got a team around you, that's, that's important. And, and advice to business owners out there when they're building a team. Culture is everything. Yeah. I mean, in today's day and age, if you don't have a good culture, you can't attract talent. Mm. If you don't have a good culture, you can't retain talent. You, you know, when I started up the business, it was very easy to control the culture. There were, you know, two, three of us. I mean, it was easy. We could build a very beautiful culture. But what we've str not struggled with, that's the wrong word, what we've spent time ensuring is, is that the, the beautiful culture we had as a startup, we've then taken on to a, a larger business. And we invest a lot of time and money into that. Um, you know, this Friday, we're... Uh, we're lucky enough to be going sailing on the harbour, so I'm looking forward to that. Ah, 32 horrible. degrees is going to be great. <laughs> uh, we've done other events. We've done axe throwing, uh, clay pigeon shooting. A axe throwing is phenomenal, by the yeah, way. Okay. Um, so we spent <laughs> a lot of yeah, we spent a lot of time on developing culture, and and what that's done is people actually socialise with each other out of work. Yeah. And, and I think one of the things that we've done differently to previous agencies or previous agencies I've worked at is total transparency with our employees. We, we take them along for the journey. Mm. Transparent in relation to, to forecasts, uh, uh, current revenue and profit figures, client wins, client losses, probably more importantly, mm -hmm. and the overall business strategy. Mm -hmm. You know, culture is, is everything. That's really. really, really fantastic advice, I think, for people building teams okay, out there. Too. Very much, um, yeah, the business RFI that I work for as well, it's, um, my CEO thinks exactly the same as, as you do. Growth then, you're growing the business. Yep. What are some of the big sort of challenges there, and, and kind of what are you doing next to, to grow things? Um, I'd say the, 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 probably the biggest challenge, it, it sounds ridiculously simple, and, and the biggest challenge is, is not, or, or the biggest mistake I should say, is, is not having your products and your processes sorted. Mm. Um, you know, the strength of our product and process when we set up has enabled us to grow. Um, if we didn't have that, it's the foundation of our business. Our, our business would have just collapsed. So my one piece of advice is around having that product and process absolutely nailed to a mm. T. Um, my... I suppose my second piece of advice where I see a lot of businesses fail, especially agencies, uh, when they're growing very rapidly like we did, is, and excuse the terminology, is, is being greedy. Um, you know, it's, we, we look at, we had this nice trajectory of growth and then in, in the end of uh, the second half of 2016, we realised that we needed to consolidate. Our processes weren't robust enough, our technology couldn't service the amount of people, we weren't in a large enough office. And what we decided to do was to stop actively selling. We started to inwardly focus, mm. perfect everything, and give us this, that, that base level to kick off in 2017. So I think if you're going through a growth period, my two pieces of advice are, um, you know, consolidate mm. and make sure that your products and processes are, uh, are you know, are awesome. The foundation, the, the real building blocks. Hundred percent. Um, really amazing advice tonight. I think, Gary. Thank you. I'm um, just finally, I've got to wrap up soon. I told you it would go quickly. Yep. Things that you do in your personal life that you see contributing to who I see in front of me today. Got to be happy outside of work. Yeah. Um, so super happy outside of work. Um, I, I don't work weekends. Super happy inside of work, by Yes, I don't mind what I do. The um, I, I won't work weekends though. You know, I work hard midweek. Weekends, kind of my time, okay. my time with my family. Uh, what do I like to do? I'm uh, I'm a simple man. I like you know going down to the beach, having a few beers, um, chilling with my family, and, and if I'm super lucky, actually you know get a bit of spot of fishing in. Nice nice balance there, Gary. Thank you so much. In Dago Digital, it's really interesting business. I'm doing some cool things, so we'll keep an eye out for it. Uh, coming up after the break, we'll chat we'll chat to travel shopper. See you then.